Hey, hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to the replay if you're joining us. This is Timmy with Chalk Couture. We'll get started here in just a minute. Alright everybody, welcome. Hey, this is Timmy with Chalk Couture. It's great to have you here. Welcome, welcome. I am full of surprises here on my desk today. I got tons of stuff to share and show with you. And there's a lot of things going on here. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. But first I just want to say hi and thank you for joining. If this is your first time watching me, my name is Timmy Pacioretty and I am an independent designer and master mentor with Chalk Couture. This is just one of the great jobs that I have. Um, this doesn't even feel like a job, really. It's kind of more my hobby that's developed into something really awesome and spectacular. Uh, during the day, I work with an awesome uh, software company, and uh, at night and on weekends, I get to play with chalk and get paid for it, which is a lot of fun. Um, and tonight I am here because I have found some really fun bunny surfaces that I thought would be really cute to uh, kind of spruce up with a little bit of chalk couture. And I wanted to share with you how easy it is to do it. So if you're coming on in, be sure to say hi. If you've uh, joined before, let me know that. And of course, if this is your first time, put a number one in the comment box. I would love to know that this is your first time watching. And I would also really love it if you're watching that and you are not currently a designer or working with another designer that you share this video. Um, I would love it if uh, you think that there are people who might enjoy seeing it as well. This is going to be a fun night. We are going to play around with some cute bunnies as I mentioned and let me show you a little bit about what's on tap here. Got to move some things around. I have so much here in front of me. I wanted to make sure I got a chance to show you all the goodness that we are going to play with. So let me pop that over. And here I am. And what I have found for you that I want to play a little bit with tonight are these bunnies. And I found them in a couple of different colors. These are the four colors I found, uh, three colors plus white. I guess white is a color, right? Um, and when I first saw them, I kind of passed right by them, to be honest. And then I saw them and I thought, hmm, I'll bet you I could chalk on these. And lo and behold, I am going to do just that. We are going to dress up these cute little bunnies with some fun designs um, and we're gonna just really spruce these guys up. So, hey Cindy, nice to have you here, welcome. It's great to have you. I just love when people come in and chat with me and help me make decisions because there's so much goodness here that we can do and you all have such great ideas. So I love hearing your ideas, so be sure to pop in and let me know when you've got something that you want me to know about. There's a little bit of a delay, I find, um, when we are doing this, so I don't always see them in real time, but I will do my best to try to answer you. Um, the other thing, boy, there's so much goodness going on this holiday season, and so many great transfers that have come out from Chalk Couture for the spring that I think you're just really going to love it. Um, today, I was playing around a little bit with our eggs um, and did a little uh, decoupaging for the first time, a little mod podge with the eggs, kind of making it look like a rustic feel. And these go really cute with these darn bunnies too. So I think they're gonna be a fun little embellishment later. Hey, Barbara, welcome. Are you working, my love? Great to have you here. The other thing I think is gonna be really cute are these little mini tags. I think we could really dress up some of these bunnies with some of our tags as well. So we're gonna pull those out and take a look as well. Now, if you are in the area where there is a Pier 1 closing, run, don't walk. There's a fun selection of items. I found these cute little napkin holders, these little bunny ears. And look at how they are just going to go so cute with our color scheme here. Now, of course, you know, this pink coral one is totally rocking my world. 
So I have a feeling we're going to find some fun things to put on him. Now, um, these are not surfaces from Chalk Couture. You probably know that. I found these at a little uh, craft store. And they are a little rough, in my opinion. So before we chalk on them, I am going to take a minute to wax them. Um, now, this is the wax that I use. It's um, just a finishing wax in natural color. You can get it at any home improvement store. Um, we do sell chalk a chore. does sell little chalk sticks, but they're little. They're kind of like the, the shape of a um, um, chapstick, and they go really fast. No, you're not working today, huh, Miss Barbara? I hope everything is okay. Maybe just today is not a work night. Um, but I'm just taking a cloth and just putting a little bit of that wax on the cloth and I'm going to rub it over the surface where we're going to chalk. And the reason for that is, is, as I mentioned, it just felt a little rough to me. And I want to make sure that when I put my transfer down on this surface, that the transfer isn't going to pick up any pieces of the wood or the paint on the back because as you might know chalk couture's transfers that we use to add the designs are um, have an adhesive back so they're sticky and we want to make sure that we don't have stuff sticking to it that we don't want sticking to it um, and that's really because one of the great awesome things about our transfers is that they are reusable you can wash them up with water and uh, if they've got something on the back that's sticky, it could affect us being able to reuse them again. So I just want to make sure that this is going to be a nice, smooth surface to work on. So I'm just going to quickly add this wax. And they'll dry really almost right away. So it's not like you have to wait or anything before you chalk on them. It's just kind of giving this a little bit of a smoothness. So that when we put that transfer on it, it is just going to pull up really nice and easily and it won't pull up any of the surface with it, really. That's what we want to make sure, no surface with it, right? So what are you guys all up to? Have you started yet with your decorating for the holidays, the spring holidays? I know I had to put all of my... Um, Valentine's stuff away, uh, although I do still have my porch sign out. I haven't had the heart yet to remove it, but we have a fabulous new porch sign design that I haven't ordered yet, but I think I'm going to next month and add it to my board. Um, I do have my Be Happy one, which definitely is pretty all season I could put out and almost a little springy because it's got a little bumblebee on them so I could probably put that out but I'm looking for something I think a little more springy and festive so I think I'm gonna have to just create a new one I did do some door tags today because we have a cute uh, little cottontail bunny transfer which we're going to use a little bit later tonight I'm just going to put my wax away, clean up my hands here a little bit. They're all like a little waxy now. But as you can see, you can't even see that I've done anything to this. It's a natural wax, as I said, and all it really does is just kind of makes the surface smooth. That's what we really wanted. Now, I know my friend Michelle, when she was watching, took a guess on what she thought I was going to put on my bunny. And she said, I'll bet you there's going to be some buffalo plaid. And you know what? She was right. Of course there's going to be buffalo plaid. And you know what? I'm just going to change. I'm going to make this a little bit. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. Now we can see more of our bunny, right? There we go. That's better. Um, I definitely want to use our mini buffalo plaid as one of the backgrounds on this bunny. And I am going to go for my pink bunny first, I think. So um, I've got my mini buffalo plaid transfer here, and you can see this has been pretty well loved. I've used this a lot. I love my mini buffalo plaid. I tend to use it on lots of different surfaces uh, over and over again, and that's perfect because that's what it's made for. So I'm going to pull that out, and I'm just going to kind of move this around here so that we can get a little better 
coverage. This little tail is a little bit in the way, so I'm going to have to scoot under it a tad, I think. And I'm just going to lay this buffalo plaid down. So I can't quite get all the way to the end because of his tail. I guess I could pull his tail off and redo him. But I don't really, oh, he's pretty stuck on there. So I'm going to not try to do that. As you can see, this has definitely been, <gasps> you're still sick from the flu? Oh my goodness, Barbara. That means you went back to work too soon, doesn't it? I have a feeling that maybe you were rushing things a tad, hmm, maybe a bit, to get back to work. The flu can be pretty tricky. All right, folks, I'm telling you, this is not sticky at all. And that means it's going to make a big old fat mess. And I don't want to make a big old fat mess. I don't know if I have one that is happier or even a new one. But, you know, what's tricky a little bit about our buffalo plaid, as you can see, there's a lot of open screen area, which means that um, there's not a lot of places for it to stick to. It's the green areas that are sticky, and all the rest of those areas are um, the areas that are going to show the buffalo pattern. And if there isn't enough adhesive, then it, it could move around on us and won't give us a really nice, clean look. And this one is definitely pretty unsticky. So we're going to put that away. We're going to forget that for now because I'm not loving it. I'm not feeling it. I love the buffalo plaid. You know I love it. But I just think it is just not going to do us justice. It's probably time for me to say goodbye to that one and get a new one. <sighs> but I don't think I have one right now. So. The other one I was really dying to try is our new polka dots. So I think the polka dots is going to be super cute as well. I know, Barbara. I love the buffalo too. Oh, I know. You did way too much, Barbara. You got dehydrated. Yep, I know you had that stomach bug on top of the flu. Oh, I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're recuperating. But I'm sorry that it kind of hung on for so long. Hey, Anna, nice to have you here. Yes, I am super cheering for she um, Shelly as well. I'm right with you. Um, for those of you that are watching and wondering what we're cheering Shelly on for, um, we are nearing the end of the month here. And um, as the month goes on, as designers, we um, have the opportunity to, to attain certain titles and ranks based on how things are going um, and how we're working our business. And there are some of us who uh, are, are ch trying to achieve leadership roles, and Shelly is one of them. And she's really, really close to hitting a promotion, so we're super excited for her. Yay! All right, Barbara, so are the polka dots make you happy instead of the buffalo? So I am pretty darn fortunate. Shelly is like my right arm. Shelly joined my team. Um, oh, gosh. <sighs> How long has Shelly been with us now? Maybe a year and a half. So I was a designer for about six months when uh, Shelly found me on Instagram. Kind of was interested in what was going on. She and I connected, and she joined my team as a designer, and she has been rocking her business ever since. Now, she, too, has a full-time day job, um, and she is one busy lady. She has little ones, and she also has a very challenging law practice. Um, so I am always just thrilled to see women really exceed their uh, expectations with this job, with this company. It's so awesome. So I know these are super cute. Carrie, I do like the hound's tooth too. I wonder if the hound's tooth would feel too big, but maybe we'll give it a try because I do have some hound's tooth here as well. Now I'm going to try to move around my stuff because I got a lot of stuff on my desk here because I want to try a whole bunch of things with you guys. I'm gonna pull out my water in case we need it. There's that spritzer. I think we're gonna go really simple 
and use white. Now again, see I've got some area here that's not getting covered, but if I go too far, his ears won't be covered either. So maybe we can do something down there. Maybe a little Easter grass or something we can put down at that bottom and really poof that up. So that's where I'm gonna, we're gonna see how that works. It's so good to be back, guys. I feel like it has been forever since I've gone live and I apologize for that. Things have just been really hectic. I have been trying to get organized um, for my trip on Friday. I head out for my cruise, which I'm super excited about. Um, but it has been a bit of a challenge trying to just get everything together. It's my husband's travel job these days. I've been trying to keep the house up, work my full-time job, and uh, keep things moving with Chocotour. And it's been a great month. I've had a lot of great workshops, but um, it's been hard to find time to go live too. So if you don't see me live next week, you will see a few of my videos. Um, I've been working on making some for you, so I give you some project ideas while I'm gone. Um, and Because there's just so many great things. So we are just sticking our squeegee here into our chalk paste container, as always. And then we're just pulling the chalk paste across the surface of the screen. Remember, you want your chalk paste to be kind of like yogurt-like consistency. So if this is your first time watching, this um, medium that we're using is paste that is made out of chalk. Um, a lot of people think it is paint, but it isn't. It actually is just chalk. So when it gets exposed to the air, it is going to dry. So it goes on wet, as you can see but it is going to dry within a matter of a couple of minutes. And it's gonna dry pretty hard. Um, when you're using it on a chalkboard surface, um, it will wash up with water like chalk does, but when we're using it on this wood surface like we are with this bunny, it is not going to come up. Um, so we wanna make sure that we kind of spread this paste and pull up the transfer pretty quickly. No fooling around here with, look at those polka dots. Love the polka dots. Okay, so we've got this area down here that needs a little something. But as I said, I think we're gonna try to add in a little maybe Easter grass or maybe even add in a little, I don't know. I'm thinking we might try something else there that's kind of interesting, but look how cute, right? These, these guys already. Of course, we also have some of these cute um, little, So we could cover that. So, I mean, I'm not too worried. We're gonna definitely find something to put there. So this is gonna need a few minutes to dry. And I think we might even have a few more fun things to embellish that. But let's put the polka dots away because he's really cute. By the way, these are new polka dots for us. Um, we had a bigger polka dot transfer. It was actually our D size. So it was really big, um, 18 by 18. This is a size B transfer as you saw me working with and the polka dots themselves are smaller. So they are stinking cute. I just love polka dots. So I'm really happy with how this looks. Now, the other um, transfers that I have here that we might also kind of play around with a little bit is these are Hello Spring Minis. And so there's a bunch of different designs here and it might be really cute to put uh, happy Easter or Hello Spring somewhere on here. So I'm keeping that as an option. The other thing I have, as I mentioned before, is we've got these really cute um, Cottontail Farms transfer. And I'm loving these little guys. I think they might be really cute as like a little um, collar, maybe for our bunny. So we're gonna keep him aside and think about that. But there we go, we got the polka dots. Hey Carrie, I know these are so cute when I found them. Matter of fact, I got them when I was visiting my sister this weekend and I, um, I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't get more. I, the bunny I was working on is, well, you know, I think he is kind of a coral color. All right, so here I got these cute little pink guys, right? So these guys are pink. They look cuter, these, right? Um, 
And this looks, I think, a little more corally than pink to me. So, yes, I'm thinking coral. Like, all these little guys, this was coral. It looks almost orangey here, but definitely I think it's more on the coral side. Don't you think? Than pink? That's what I think. That's totally what I think. And then, of course, we've got these cute little eggs. Right, so wouldn't these cute look together like that? You can see them definitely hanging out together and being happy. So lots of fun things you can do with these. All right, so we've got our polka dots. We're gonna let him dry, but oh my gosh, I'm in love with them already. Now I've got this blue one over here, and this is a great color too. And we are talking, Carrie, about that hound's tooth. Let me see. I do have a piece of hound's tooth here that we can give a whirl and see how it looks. I always am surprised at how much I like the hound's tooth. Um, when I did it, um, the flower looks good up against the bunny. Was that the, was, is it this guy or did you like the egg? I, I did like the egg. He seemed like it went really well, kind of vintagey look. So I think we're going to try this. Carrie, this is for you. All right, so let's see. So we're gonna peel off this. This is pretty nice and sticky. This is a relatively new piece of hound's tooth, so that's good. Sorry guys, let's get this so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Now the other thing that we just came out with was a herring bone, and that would look kind of cool too. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get up to that crazy little bunny butt. So we're just gonna have to get in as close as we can. I guess I could take off that little butt, but I guess I just don't want to, apparently, huh? Because I've said that twice now and I haven't done it. So same thing, we're just gonna smooth it down so there's no air bubbles. What do you think, we're gonna get enough of a, a pattern here that we'll be able to see what this looks like? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's actually straight. Let's try that again. That's better, I think. Now, if, the, if your transfer is really sticky, this one's not too bad. But you can stick your um, backer sheet under here if that helps. A little trick I have realized. So here we go. All right, so let's see. Sometimes if you heat it up, it may come off clean. Oh, I know. I was trying to pull it off, and its they put a lot of stuff on here. It is really, really, really thick. And I think I'll pull off his bunny tail, totally, and leave half of it on his board. So I think I'm going to leave it be. Pray it's good. All right, so here we go. I'm going to use white again. And again, with a big screen... I prefer going in one direction, and it kind of helps with the air bubbles a little. Not always, but sometimes, especially when you don't have a really good stick. But I think we're gonna be okay here. Oh, guys, I gotta tell you, I'm having a huge hot flash while I'm sitting here, I'm so sorry. My face feels bright red. So if it is, it's just because it's, you know, just that crazy time of life for me. If anybody has any great tips about how to deal with that. Hey Dawn, welcome. Great to have you. Working on these crazy bunnies. And this is the hound's tooth. So Carrie suggested that, which I love. Love giving these different patterns a try. And maybe even we'll pull out the herringbone for the green and see if we like that too. As I said, that's a new pattern, and that might look really cute. So there we go. Now this is not a very smooth surface. I am finding these bunnies have definitely a little bit of a bumpiness to them. So again, another good reason to do a little extra waxing of them, if you can. 
All right, so I'm gonna stick that over here on my water bath. <laughs> He's kind of cute too, look at him. So we've got a little house tooth, we've got a little polka dots. Let me show you this other one. Sorry, I gotta come over here because I hadn't pulled it out, wasn't thinking about it. Can see all my whoops in stock stuff. Well, maybe you can't see it from where you are. But this is the herringbone. What do you think of this? Yeah, Amy, is this the chevron? Is this the one you were thinking about? So maybe we'll give that one a whirl. On what do you think? Should we go to the white or should we go to the green? Which bunny should we do next, do you think? Maybe we'll add some pink polka dots to the white and we'll do one more white with the herringbone. We call it herringbone. Is that what you were thinking, Amy, with the chevron? Let's see if that gives it a try. So there we go. So when I bought these, I bought one, two, three, I bought six, thinking I would actually spell out Easter Oh, big glob of wax on that one, I didn't even notice. Um, but I thought, you know, these could be fun for a lot of things. Oh, I don't think there's a bigger pattern chevron than this one. The hound's tooth that we just used, we have polka dots, and then of course the buffalo plaid, which was being mean to me. Let's see. Make sure I don't have another buffalo plaid before. So I have a big buffalo plaid. This one I haven't used in a long time. This is a big buffalo plaid. So again, it's, it'll be kind of like the um, hound's tooth. I think the smaller buffalo plaid is better for this guy, but I don't know if I have one that is sticky enough. I found another one. Let's try this one. Maybe that one will be better. Let's give that one a whirl and see. Because I so want the buffalo plaid. No, the other option I have for you is a crazy option. <laughs> no, you're probably not losing your mind. I might just be spacing on the one you're thinking about. I am not thinking about a larger chevron. Hmm. Could be that there's one there and I just don't remember. All right, let's see. Let's see if this one's a little stickier. This one's also been used, as you can tell. But it does seem like maybe he has a little bit more stick to him. Should we give him a try? He's not perfect. He's not totally sticky, but he's not totally unsticky like the other one was. So maybe we'll give him a try. I do have some smaller new pieces. The problem with the new, the smaller ones is that it's really hard to line them up. This one's better though, so let's give this one a try. Should we do white? I know the polka dots really are cute. I think you might have missed those earlier, Amy. We did those, aren't they cute? I do like those. And I think it'd be fun to take our white one and I don't know, should we do white? <laughs> Did it come in a holiday set, chevron? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. As a big pattern, I would say no, but there could have been a small piece, that's possible. Anybody else remember a chevron? Barbara, what's, yes, the buffalo plaid? Yes, 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 all right, let's see. I don't know why my camera is so far away today. Maybe it's me. All right, here we go. Back to white. We're keeping things simple here with the colors for now, but then I'm gonna pull out one of our new pinks that I'm really learning to just want to use on everything. And that's our pink grapefruit color. All right, so far. It seems to be happy. 
Now, of course, when we do use wax, of course, it becomes a little less sticky as well, which we all know, right? But this one seems to be doing well, so that's good. I have been struggling and struggling. I know, Carrie, we were talking about this earlier today, finding some fun wood shapes to use. Seems like they're going really quickly from the shelves at the stores. So I am enjoying the cute little egg cutouts that we are make that we've made that Chocotour offers because there are definitely a few interesting options we can do with those including that decoupage that I was talking about earlier. I'm just trying to get this last little bit here. All right, I think we got it. All right. I think that might work. What do you think, guys? Here he is. Ah, yeah, he's cute too. And the white was fine. Totally, I think. What do you guys think? He's cute, yeah? Oh, that's right. Buffalo, yes. So the other one I had for you, which I am totally not ready to take on, I think, tonight. It might be like just too stressful for me at the moment, is um, our modern floral. An entirely different look, but if you haven't seen the modern floral, it's this. It's huge, um, but it looks really awesome as a background pattern. So um, I think for today we will not worry too much about it. But look, how, even this matches this guy. He's so darn cute. And of course, you know, our little egg too. He's cute. He matches there too. So nice mix and match of those patterns. So we've got three done. Let's do one more with our polka dots for the white. Let's find him. He's over here. Oops. Or should we do the herringbone? Should we try the herringbone? Look, he even looks cute with this. Oh my gosh. Loving these, loving them. Now, what we could do is add the word, add a letter to each of these to spell out Easter. That was kind of my original idea. Oh, you'd like the modern floral, huh? Should I try it? Should we try it? It'll be fun, right? It'll be different. Um, but yeah, you could totally, wouldn't these be cute? So uh, lots of ways I was thinking about using these guys. So I was thinking once we put on the patterns, we could put an initial on them. They'd be great to put in an Easter basket. They would be great um, to put an initial on and put at the table setting for Easter. So kind of as a, um, a marker, you know, a seat marker. Um, I, as I said, I was thinking about they'd be really cute, like along a table or a mantle, um, and have the word Easter spelled out or the word spring spelled out, you know, one letter per bunny. That would be really cute too, right? And then, of course, you know, you can embellish them with all these cute little pieces. So all of that's possible. All right. Can I do the flowers on the bunny? Um, do you mean these guys or do you mean the modern floral that I just showed you? I'm betting you're meaning the modern floral. Is that what you're thinking? This crazy thing? <laughs> All right, let's go for it. This is a really big one, and I don't necessarily want to cut him. It is crazy big. Yeah, that floral pattern on the welcome sign. It's really pretty. Someone actually just posted a really pretty picture of it um, as well, using it in conjunction with um, the home design that we had for our um, monthly chalk club design and it was super cute too. <laughs> I know, well, I know. I am like really thinking I need to find these bunnies somewhere else. I did go online, Carrie, and look for you to see if they were available on that store's website online and they weren't. Um... I know, but you know what? Honestly, these are so stinking easy to make. Do we know somebody who knows how to cut wood? I betcha it would be really easy to cut this shape out for somebody who had a little saw. I don't have a saw, but if we did, how simple would these be to make? 
So I think I need to find somebody. Um, one of the uh, members of my team, her husband's been doing some stuff for her. Maybe I'll send one over to her and see if I can get her husband to help us make some. What do you think? I know, I am being mean about talking about where they all can go, but they're so darn cute. All right, but you know what? These wood shapes, you know what? Go online. There's, I go to Etsy. There are so many places where you can pick up um, designs, wood designs like this. So, and keep your eye out when you go to the store. Your saws in storage. Oh, you have one? I don't even have one. I need to get one, I think. I think I need to know. So what do you think? Is this a good, I know there's so many places where we could put this, right? I don't know where we want to see this floral design everywhere. I want to see it everywhere. Oh, you guys are making me excited now. I'm like, I can't wait to find places to put these cuties. I think they might even have to go into my craft display. I know. I know your travel. I know. Okay. So, hey, I was telling you about this new pink. This is it. This is it. It's called Pink Grapefruit. Um, if you are, remember, if you are a Club Couture subscriber, all chalk pastes are 20% off until the end of the month. So you've got until the 29th to grab um, these chalk pastes um, at a discount. So get online and order them. Um, it's a great deal and it doesn't come around very often, I'll tell you. Um, I'm not sure in the two years that I've been doing chalk couture that I've ever seen them offer 20% off all chalk pastes ever. So. Um, very pretty though. Isn't this a great color? It definitely is a little bit thicker I've noticed than some of the others. You'll notice that when you open the chalk paste the consistency is going to be different from color to color and that's because of the pigments that's used. But just make sure you give it a really good stir and if you don't have these stir sticks grab some. Don't stir your chalk paste with uh, wooden sticks that actually um, causes your paste to dry up. So don't do that. Um, if you have other plastic sticks, that's fine. Uh, but if you don't, grab some of the Chalk Couture ones. They're great. And here we go. Look at this color. So it almost looks corally, and it's kind of similar to that coral color that we had of our bunny. Now, for those of you that don't know, you can also use our chalk paste to make paint out of and paint wood surfaces with them. I've done that a few times. I might have shown it to you, you might have seen it. Um, all you need to do is just take a scoop of the chalk paste out of the container and add a decent amount of water to it till it's almost like the consistency of um, like water paints almost. Um, and use that to paint on a wood surface with a foam brush and then you can have a really fun design that you've used creating with one of the colors of their chalk paste, which they come in, as you know, a wild number of colors. Now, if you're wondering what all this talk about Club Couture is and you're not a Club Couture customer, um, be sure to go check it out on my site. It is a great deal. It is a monthly subscription program we offer um, that is just $19.99. And every month you get an exclusive transfer delivered right to your door. And um, if you're a member of my Club Couture program, um, I have some awesome specials and discounts for you. And I also make sure that um, you get all the directions you need to be able to... Look at him, he's cute, isn't he? <laughs> Um, all the directions you need to make some beautiful designs. So yeah, the modern floral was a great idea. Amy, that's exactly where I got them. This, <laughs> so this is where I find these, found these cute little bunnies. As a matter of fact, I found them on the Cape, so I'm kind of hoping that if I um, head over to um, my local one across the river, that I might be able to pick up some more. So uh, maybe I'll go there. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We've got one little bunny, two little bunnies, three little bunnies, my little egg, and four little bunnies. Four different patterns, all super cute. Aren't they? Aren't they cute? Here, I am totally in your way. Here, let me uh, change the view. Whoops. 
I didn't mean to make this go away. There we go. So I went away so you could see everything here. So like I said, we could use some embellishments here. We can use these little uh, little carrots, or we can um, add an egg down at the bottom so we don't see this part where we didn't go all the way down. Or, oh, remember we were talking about, this is something to think about. Hmm. We could use some Easter grass, I think. Or we can use this. These would be cute. We could put them even down at the bottom of that. I got a little piece of something there that's on there that's not dry. Here we go. Oh, I think that was from the egg. I mean, from the, ah! All right, let that be. There we go. Um, so we can add that in there. I think we need the pesto for that. Nice, light, oh, not that one. Maybe the pink. This pink, yes. Some sort of moss or grass at the bottom. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I think that's a great idea. I think that will make the most sense. Um, and then we don't have to worry about that at all. I think that will look super cute. I don't think I have any, so I've got to go find some. But I'm just going to use this pretty pink here and add a little wreath of flowers to the neck of this guy. <laughs> That's cute, cute, cute. Um, we can add a little green to there if we wanted, but anyway, so you can see, there can lots of things you can do to embellish these little guys. But I hope you had as much fun as I did playing around with these guys. Wait till I um, get them set up and um, we'll embellish them a little bit more with a few other things. Um, including, here we go, we've got this guy, we could add, we could put him right on here. Oops. I took out the tag by accident. We could add in a little tag and hang it off his ear, maybe, if we wanted, and put a little Happy Easter in there. So, lots of fun things I think we can put these all together with. So, anyway, I hope you had fun watching to learn how to play with the patterns. If uh, any of this looks like fun and you want to grab them, they are available on my Chalk Couture website. You can go to chalkcouture.com slash Timmy and grab any of these that you see. But stay tuned. Lots of more fun uh, spring ideas coming your way in the next um, few weeks. So until then, I hope you all have a great day. And thanks so much for watching and joining. I loved chatting with you all. Hey, Kim, I didn't even see you. Take care. Bye.